here yesterday taking a look at the gutters. It was a sunny, breezy day. Today it is a cloudy, rainy day. Uh, I was out here yesterday taking a look at the gutters. It was a sunny, breezy day. Today it is a cloudy, rainy day. So a day later, and I just wanted to take a look at what was going on here as I get back from some appointments. Uh, here we have the clean mesh at the far end. We can see a little bit of water working its way over the top the bottom a little bit of dripping but very little dripping at this point here you can see more dripping on the gutter glove DIY product reasonably rapid rate and it's not even really raining that hard here we're looking at the leaf lock system you can hear the drip 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 of that system. You can see the uh, leaves overhanging the edge of the gutter and then you can see water hitting the leaves and then falling off the end of the leaves. So I talk about water following the path of least resistance. Good case in point, that's the leaf lock system. So we definitely have more debris up there today than we had yesterday. Here we're looking at leaf solution. We also have a fair bit of water dripping off the bottom of that gutter guard. And hard to tell if we have that much more debris on it than we had yesterday. And then here we have leaf filter that because it's got a little bit of a drip edge on the front, uh, you get a little dripping from it, but we don't have that much that's actually hitting the face of the gutter there. In fact, at the moment, I don't see anything other than what's just dripping off the pine needles hanging off the edge of the gutter guard. Uh, that is dry on the face. And then we have Master Shield, which is also dry on the face so in this one because we don't have much stuff sitting on top of it almost nothing sitting on top of it you don't have anything dangling over the edge which is not allowing it to drip to the ground below like it's doing with leaf filter leaf solution leaf lock gutter glove easy on and the clean mesh at the end. I am now on the south side of the garage. A little bit of rain coming out of the sky, not really much to speak of, but we do have debris sitting on top of the the gutter guards to some extent going across. I showed you that yesterday. So probably not a lot has changed. Maybe a little bit has changed, but I um, wanted to show you the water that is potentially dripping from the base of the gutters and coming across the face and then off the bottom of the gutters. So I'm gonna start over here with Master Shield. It is perfectly dry. At this point, nothing. No water on the face of the gutter, no water dripping off the bottom of the gutter. We come over to leaf filter. It's doing uh, pretty well. We do have some water droplets at the base of the gutter. A little bit, a little bit of water that we see coming around the corner there. Now you'll see the big difference between the master shield and the leaf filter is that the leaf filter has a bunch of debris, a bunch of leaves sitting on top of it, pine needles hanging over the edge. So you're more likely to get the dripping coming off those pine needles. Now, if they extend as far out as many of them do, 
it'll naturally miss the gutter face. So what we're really seeing is either debris on the top or water hitting the drip edge and then coming around onto the face of the gutter and dripping off the bottom. But overall, that's doing a very good job. Now we look at the Gutter Glove Pro system, a whole lot of water droplets on the top edge, kind of the top lip there, if you will, of the gutter. And then not really much happening right now at the bottom of it. There are some water droplets there. And I imagine there is some dripping off of that. But at the moment, with a light rain, it's doing okay. Then we come over to the leaf lock system and we've got a little bit of dripping happening here. So what you can see, like right here, there's some dripping. There's two lines coming down and the drops on either side. And right above that, you can maybe see a little bit of a leaf there. So the water's catching that leaf and then it's just following the face of the gutter down and then it comes off the bottom in the form of water droplets. So we're definitely seeing more water droplets coming off the base of the leaf lock at the moment. We come over to the diamond mesh system and I actually have a ladder situated here so I'll climb up a little higher and you can see here where some water is dripping over, hits the base of the gutter and then it forms the water droplets and drops off from there. So you look across there, you see a little bit of that action on it. So the last one we have is the leaf free system and we're getting a bit of the same here. So by and large, the water is gonna get caught going into the gutter, uh, but you also have some of the debris and the water obviously hitting the face or the top lip of the gutter, comes down over the, the edge of the gutter, across the face, hits the bottom here, and then it drips off. So we have very little dripping at this point. We have more water droplets on the face of the gutter and some of that is making its way to the bottom and it is slowly dripping off. But on this side of the garage, let me just get up here and take a shot across so we can see the tops of the, the guard. So there's the leaf free, here's the diamond mesh. Leaf lock is next to that. Just beyond that is the uh, Gutter Glove Pro, and then we have Leaf Filter, which still has the most debris sitting on top of it, and at the end is Master Shield. So what we have in terms of dripping, as it is right now, it looks like probably the most dripping is coming off the Leaf Lock system, followed by the Diamond screen. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons and ding the bell and you'll be notified the next time we upload a video. Uh, over the last week or so, it's been quite wet here. Uh, it's now drying up a little bit, but uh, that helped drive a lot of the leaves and debris off the trees.